Now we're going to show you how you can calculate page faults using the least recently used algorithm LRU with a fair size of 3. So now you have the same reference strings here and the first three references represents the page faults with the boxes here. Right? So the next one we have the page 0 and 0 has been appearing in our list here. Okay, so we will do the same thing as what we did for FIFO and OPT by just putting back the zero into the list. Okay. But for LRU, there's something that you need to be aware of because LRU says that it's going to replace page that has not been used for the longest period of time. So we need to make some indicator to show that it it's just recently been used here, right? So we just make another color pan here to show us that zero has been coming in before with maybe a circle here, right? Just to indicate to us that zero is the recently used. Okay, the next one we have on page two. So page two again has been existed in the list. We will just copy back the value in. Right? And now you can see that uh, 2 again is uh, the recently used number. So because of LRU, again, we use a special marker to put a circle. Right? Just to indicate that it is the recently used. So I'm going to show you how it will be useful for us to make some comparisons. On next one so the next value is looking for three and three is not in the list and we need to find a place to replace it so which one that we should choose so the same thing goes for uh, like FIFO but this round for LRU you will consider the one that has been circled right to compare to the one that has been uh, square at the back Right, so we will see which one is the recently used. So compare to 0 and 0, so we will drop off the first 0 and we'll take this into consideration. And compare this square and this circle, we will drop off the first one and take the recently to compare. So 8 has not been uh, compared, has not been existed before, so 8 will be retained as what it is in here. So we have 0, 2, and 8 into comparison. So again, we apply the same thing like what we have for FIFO, just so looking for the oldest memory. So 8 will be replaced compared to this three, these two positions here. Right? So 3 will be replacing 8 here. Okay? And because it is replacing with our page 4, so we need to box it up. Right? And again, we transfer the value over here. Okay? The next one again, we have zero, which is no page fault involved because zero has been appearing here. And we just make a copy here. Right? And because it's LRU, we need to make some indicator to show that it has been recently used. Okay? So again, when we look for the next step, page four, so again, we will just close up this because we're going to compare the zero and this zero and we're going to use the latest one, right? So we consider this 0, 2, and 3. So we choose the oldest memory page. So 2 will be replaced with 4, right? And to show that it's a page 4, we box it up and transfer the value over. Okay, so here it goes on and you have 0 again here. So we just copy back for real 4, 3, Okay, and we use another marker to show that it is not a page fort, just show that it's a recently used value. Right? And we have five again, which want to be replaced. We'll be comparing this zero, four, and three. Right? Zero, four, and three. So three will eventually be replaced by five. Then we transfer back the value here, zero. So how do we calculate the page faults here? We'll just will be calculating the one bit square 
and not the circle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So you have a page four of six in this exercise. Okay, remember, do not calculate the one with the circle. Just calculate the one with the box. One, two, three, four, five, six.